Welcome to Klein's Run Disc Golf Course in Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, located on the banks of the Susquehanna River. Today we'll be taking a look at the long layout, which adds a few orange baskets to the green short layout, and is a par 63 at 6,654 feet. Getting right into it with hole 1 at Klein's Run, we have an uphill par 3 at 260 feet, but playing closer to 300. Straight shot off the tee with a little fade at the end will get you to the basket, but sloping right to left green can cause skips and rolls down the hill, so a slower speed disc is the play if you have the power to get there. And speaking of slopes, here we have hole 2 at 206 feet. Forehand or backhand both work, but the green is notorious for rollaways. So you either want to match the angle of the hill as you land, or go farther left of the basket where it's flatter. However, that will leave you staring down the hill for a nervy putt. Hole 3 is tied for the shortest hole in the course at 170 feet. A backhand turnover or forehand around the corner will get you to the green, but one branch and a few bushes always seem to get in the way. Throwing from this nicely built up tee pad, we have our first par 4 at only 394 feet. Straight with a slight finish and farther than you think off the tee is a good play. Watch for the OB road long, but getting close to it opens up the angle for your second shot. Gradually going more and more uphill, you find the basket perched just beyond these last two stumps on a sloping green. Over to hole 5, throwing up that same hill, you have a 225 foot shot to the basket. A stalling backhand hyzer shapes well to get to the basket. Too far left and you'll find a few bushes on the otherwise open green. After climbing up to your lie, you are treated with a beautiful view of the Susquehanna River. Our second par 4 at 554 feet, hole 6 is a great two shot hole. Going just to the left of this light colored tree and finishing left will get you to the landing zone. From there, finding a line through the trees to a blind basket is the challenge. As well as sloping away green, creating the need for speed control coming in. Very downhill and OB road behind, hole 7 is a difficult 371 foot par 3. Straight backhand or flex forehand are your options off the tee. Getting around this last tree is the trick to parking the basket. A little short and you'll have a death putt, a little long and you're likely carrying out of bounds. Two options off the tee for hole 8, a straight shot through the fairly tight gap or a very wide backhand around this main grouping of trees. Either way, getting through clean will likely leave you with a circle 1 putt. Catching a tree, however, will leave you with a 100 plus foot upshot, scrambling for par. A tight downhill shot awaits you on hole 9. Backhand turnover or forehand shapes well to get to the pin, but OB Road looms all along the left side. Trees short right will prevent you from accessing the green, so pushing the OB is scary, but the preferred play. The other shortest hole in the course is a unique one. Short backhand hyzer off the tee, but you're throwing up and over this stone wall. Coming up short leaves you with an awkward, sometimes blind putt within circle two. The creek is also out of bounds all along the left side. Throwing downhill and over the creek on hole 11 makes this a tricky hole tight fairway that opens up once you cross to an elevated pin. The road long is also out of bounds. Layups are a common strategy, but at only 247 feet downhill, this one is begging for you to go for it. After crossing back over the creek to find 12's tee pad, you find a 530 foot par 4. Two options here, lay up to the edge of the creek and throw a longer shot on your second or go long through the trees to the right on your first and pitch over on your second. Either way, you want to be wary of the limbs hanging over that can drop you down straight into the creek and the OB road all along the left side. 
short par 4 but uphill the entire way for hole 13. Getting within 100 feet to the casual crossing road is a good distance for your first shot. That will make your second shot throwing toward the OB road much more manageable. Get through the last few guardians and down before the OB and you should be looking at a birdie. Hole 14 has a pretty fair fairway. A couple of trees to miss off the tee, but the trouble really comes in on your second shot, coming into this tight grouping of trees. Out to the right is a little more open, but the shortest route is through one of these very tight lines straight to the basket. OB Road is also at Circle's Edge. You can open it up a bit off the tee on 15, but definitely want to get to the left to find the landing zone. This will set up a much easier backhand hyzer approach angle than attempting to maneuver through the trees on the right side. Elevated basket and downhill slope make your putt that much more difficult as well. Tight gap off the tee on your fifth par four in a row, and that much better once you get through. More open on the left, but makes the hole play much longer. Landing around here on the left side is your best bet, then a backhand through the last 200 or so feet of trees will lead you right to the basket. A very difficult hole not to find trouble on. A little more breathing room for hole 17, and likely a forehand for most players. However, the nearly 300 feet makes it tough to reach. Backhand turnover can give you the distance, but needs a late turn to get all the way to the green. Finishing with another par 4, hole 18 is almost 500 feet and downhill the entire way. Likely a backhand, but some players prefer the forehand flex over the road. Either way, you are trying to get close to the open area here to have an easier second shot. Still downhill and with OB road left and long, finishing your round with a birdie is doable but difficult. Klein's Run is a challenging, mostly wooded course with a lot of elevation change, tight lines, and OB roads and creek throughout. Artificial turf tee pads, cart and dog friendly with bathrooms available. Overall, I'd give this course an 8 out of 10 for its challenge, beauty, and amenities. I'm interested in how you like this course though. Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you on the next hole.